It's Valley Focus, and I'm Kayla Mortolaro, your guide for this segment as we turn our attention to Civitan, which we are joined by Bo Larson, Director of Marketing and Business Development, as well as James Maloney, Director of Community Engagement. Uh, Bo and James, how are you today? I'm doing great. Thanks for having us. Absolutely. So let's first and foremost dive into what Civitan is, a nonprofit organization serving children and adults with developmental disabilities. Uh, Camp Civitan here has been around and founded since uh, 1960. 68, so a long time. What is the impact that the Civitan community has had? Well, you know, you, you summed it up well. We've been around since 1968, uh, working with children, teens, and adults with developmental disabilities. And we know we're, that we're enriching lives. Uh, we serve about 1,400 families um, throughout the, the whole state, um, not only with Camp Civitan, which started it all, um, but through our DTA programs, through um, our work employment, work services programs. And so um, we're enriching lives by uh, making a better life uh, for these um, young people and, and adults, uh, quite a few adults, by giving them the building confidence, socialization, um, independence um, through our work programs as well. They uh, learn job skills, and then from that, they're also getting paid when they're when they're working, which that, is really cool. That is a really cool thing. So you mentioned two different things here. You have your DTA programs mm-hmm. as well as Camp Civitan. Let's first talk about the DTA programs. Yeah. Which is a day training for adults. That's what DTA means. And and at Civitan Foundation at our Civitan Village, um, it's it's a unique program in that we offer we have music, we have a culinary program, we have an art program, we have a media program, we have theater. And uh, so every hour they rotate around. The classes will rotate around, and um, so everyone experiences that mm-hmm. throughout the day, and they and they learn new skills. Again, it's it's building communications, it's building self confidence and self esteem, um, and the ability, like in culinary, for example, um, we also have a, a catering service that's run by a, a professional chef, but it's also um, being. Um, all the foods being made by a lot of our members. Um, but in, in culinary, what they're learning is food safety and how to make recipes and how to grow things. And, and, and so they, every day, it's, it's fun. It's a lot of fun. It's a high impact mm-hmm. energy Absolutely. place. Um, but what the members are getting out of it is that they want to come back. You know, that's so important, first of all, because many um, don't necessarily live at home. They may live in a group home and, and this, is their, this is their life. Um, so we make that as, as, as fulfilling as possible, but walking away knowing that they're learning some things and, and we are making a difference. So you talked about being a member. So yeah. so you have to be a member to come to the DTA programs. Uh, how do you become a matter, member? Who is qualified? Is there costs associated with that? Well, sure. It's it's um, We're state funded. Um, we also take donations. want to mention that. Um, that. That helps to enrich the lives. Um, but uh, but uh, these individual members, and we call them, and I'm sorry, I'm using that vernacular on that, but it's um, uh, these are individuals. They have to be at least 18 years old, but out of high school to come to our DTA program. Um, and we meet one to one with either their um, guardian or their parents to make sure it's the right fit. Uh, because not you know when you, when you're dealing with people with developmental disabilities, there's so many different layers, um, so many uh, different parts of the spectrum. There, um, some have behavioral issues, others um, may have food issues, and so wh- what's the best f- fit for everyone involved? Because we're not just talking just for that one member; we're talking for the 85. They're also there, um, and so uh, we go through that process. But yeah, it's it's um, it's state funded mm-hmm. through uh, respite hours, is what it's called, um, and then the DDD, Department of Developmental Disabilities, um, helps, it manages that with um, our program as well as the other programs throughout the Valley and the state. And so, is someone who is a member here wants to come, uh, can they come five days a week, seven days a week, three days a week? What's kind of a typical schedule? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the we, whole gamut? <laughs> yeah, well, we have, we have uh, we're have we Monday through Friday at mm-hmm. our village, but we also have a respite ranch um, where a lot of our members will go for um, kind of that weekend away from their home, um, but it's also recreation. Um, We have uh, some come for three or four days and may go to another program where there's more theater, for example, or more culinary, for example. And so they'll mix it up, you know, and and you have to do your research because unfortunately, a lot of families don't know what's out there. Um, The the school districts work so hard to care for the kids when they're in in that setting, um, but they don't pass it on. Um, but we also have Camp Civitan, uh, which is, again, where we started back in 68, and it's up in Williams. And that got started by uh, families and volunteers who wanted to build a camp 
for uh, children with disabilities so they can um, enjoy the same experiences that more, and I'm air quoting here, able-bodied um, children were experiencing. And that's how Civitan came about. And uh, 51, almost 52 years later, um, it's 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 quite a going concern. We're chatting here with Bo Larson, Director of Marketing and Business Development, as well as James Maloney, Director of Community Engagement for Civitan. We've been discussing the DTA programs and now sliding over into the Camp Civitan part of the conversation. Uh, so about how many people, let's actually first back up a second. How many camps do you run a year? Yeah, so uh, the camp runs for 10 straight weeks over the summer. So those are week-long camps, uh, Sunday or Monday to Monday. And then throughout the year, um, on average, we run two weekend camps. So that's a Friday to a Sunday um, each month. So on average, we're running about 100 nights at camp each year. And, and we um, figure about 1,000 members are able to go and have that camp experience each year at Camp Civitan. And so people that are members of like the DTA programs, can they also slide over into the Camp Civitan portion of things? Or can someone who is not part of the DTA portion of things then be a part of the camp part? Uh, yeah. So it's a bit of both, right? So some of our members um, maybe experienced camp first and then found out about the DTA program that we were offering and started taking part there, or because they were part of DTA, learned about camp. Um, but then we also have people who live in Camp Verde who go up to camp, uh, some members from Flagstaff, some out-of-state members. And so um, really, um, the camp's goal is to, uh, as Bo mentioned, try to make sure that our member, or our campers are able to have that outdoor experience. Um, I think so many people who move to Arizona are drawn to, right? Uh, whether yeah. that's uh, hiking and, you know, experiencing Maybe it was a, a just a camp trip or a retreat or those the sorts sun. of things. Yeah, yeah, just just getting out there and 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 the camp really provides those experiences to um, our campers who maybe d aren't eligible to go to other camps or don't feel comfortable going to those camps or their parents don't know uh, if the staff will be prepared to work with them. And so, um, you know, I think for us, it's really about, um, you know, our, our mission is to promote lifelong adventures. And when you think about that, camping is definitely an adventure, right? And so um, it's it's such an awesome opportunity to get our members out there, whether they're uh, going to the rodeo in Royal Williams one week, uh, horseback riding, going on the trails and doing, doing just those fun camp skits and things like that. And so um, to get back to your initial question, those <laughs> those members uh, from the DTA program or, or all over, anyone who's looking for that experience, we really want to work with them and figure out if it's the right fit. So what is kind of the setting? You talk about it's in Williams, Arizona. Uh, so yeah, if someone's going to roll up to drop off their, their kid or their loved one for this camp, what's the setting like? What's the experience like? Who greets them? Like walk me through how that happens. So the, the camp is up uh, in, in Williams, Arizona. It's a beautiful pine country, you know, just 40, mi uh, 40 minutes south of the Grand Canyon, but um, the camp, uh, there's a few ways to get there, right? So, so campers can be dropped off by their families. Um, a lot of our campers from Flagstaff, that's the easiest way to get over there. Um, when you arrive, our camp staff's already on site, greeting you, grabbing luggage, uh, just that kind of energy and excitement that uh, people who have maybe been to a camp have come to expect. Well, it is quite an experience. <laughs> um, the majority of our campers meet at our village, which is at uh, 42nd Street and Cactus okay. by the REI there. And so we have a big bus by Arrow Van Lines. And, and so what happens is that uh, 40 members will get on there along with camp counselors and such. And so we, we have that full production, parents saying goodbye, some saying, here's your bag, see you later. It's our <laughs> vacation too. Um, and then they, they'll they get on the bus. And then as um, we were saying, when you get up to camp, it's a production. You know, the arms create the arch and they, they're greeted as they're heroes that are mm -hmm. coming off the bus. And it really, it's one of those just inspiring things when you see it. And, and that's how camp starts and it doesn't let up. I mean, it's that type of energy throughout the entire week. Well, if you're to... In energies through this interview or any hmm. indication what camp is going to be like, I think you're right. The energy is we definitely a bound. Than allowed, <laughs> yeah, so. Fair enough. So if someone is interested in getting involved in camp in terms of uh, putting someone in the camp process, how would they go about doing that? Best way is to just reach out to um, any of our entities at Civitan Foundation. Um, if they reach out to our email at camps at campcivitan.org, um, they'd be able to get in contact with Cody, our camp director, um, or any of the members that work within our camp, and, and we'd reach out and just to set up a phone call to figure out if this is that right experience for them. Uh, talk about the programming that we offer as well as just some of the different services that we can offer at camp um, and kind of work from there. Um, we'd want them to maybe come see the camp or come and meet in person um, at our facility. But And, and the um, website, yeah. obviously, yeah. you know, with the full FAQ, the visuals of what the camp's all about, um, explanation of what age groups, because we also, we have um, children, 
starting eight or nine generally is what it is. But okay. we, we always like to question to make sure that that child is ready for that experience up to under 18, 17 or so. But then we have the 18 and over camp experience. We never they never mix. Um, and so it's uh, which is just important, um, not only for the experience, but also uh, safety and all that. Um, and so the website will share all that information. And that's Civitan Foundation AZ dot org. Once again, that is Civitan, Civitan Foundation dot org. You're going to say it right by the end of the I, I am going to get it. I will absolutely get it as we're chatting here with Bo Larson, Director of Marketing and Business Development, as well as James Maloney, Director of Community Engagement for Civitan. Uh, as we continue on talking about Camp Civitan, you guys obviously work for Civitan and, and uh, provide the wonderful experience for camp. But without, and you have lots of counselors and you have people that are all aboard, but it doesn't get done without volunteers as well. Right. And so there is a certain type of person that you're looking for to be a volunteer. Absolutely. So for us, we're really looking for anyone that's under the age of 18 is kind of where our volunteer um, aspect starts. So anyone that's probably that 13 to 18 age range, um, because after 18, we, we want to get them employed with us, right? We, we want to get them working. <laughs> right. And um, But really, the volunteer opportunities are awesome. They can come up for those weekend camps. They can take the bus um, or they can spend a whole week with us during the summer. And so really, we look at that as almost our provider in training time. So this is an awesome opportunity for them uh, to get to know the camp, to get familiar with Camp Civitan and what we do and how we serve our campers and to uh, start to learn uh, what it's like working there. And so they're taking part in different activities. They're going around doing the programming just like everyone else, uh, but also, you know, helping in some of those behind the scene things that just will not allow, camp wouldn't happen without them. So uh, helping serve our meals, going out and doing uh you know, some some basic uh, things like doing the dishes or helping clean up a uh, different programming space so that it can turn for the next thing. Um, all while just making amazing friends from from all over the state of Arizona through that volunteer opportunity. Well, and, and also, you know, it, it really is the experience of a lifetime for a lot of these kids. You know, a lot of times they need to check the box for their resume for college or whatever high school they're going to right now. But they're going to every volunteer that leaves that program after that one week know that um, the member they were working with changed their life forever. You know, this this is the moment yeah. in, in their lives. They're going to go, I remember when I worked at camp. So you you're know. looking for, you know, ages 13 to 17 uh, in high school a as well. It do you kind of have pinpointed maybe someone who has the the type of personality that you're looking for that can they can handle being there for a whole week or just a weekend? Yeah, I think for us, it's it's someone who has that passion for service, right? Like they want to get out there. They want to give back and make a difference, but also just that high energy and, and, and loves the outdoors, right? Like it is camp. You're up there. You're, you're truly uh, out at the camp. And so um, we've seen a lot of people who, uh, you know, maybe are involved with a youth group or uh, they're taking part in scouting or team sports. We uh, we're very lucky to have uh, a local high school basketball team. The whole team's coming out this weekend to camp. And oh, so nice. um, we have those group settings as well. So if groups uh, as a whole, maybe for some people taking that uh, week long uh, trip by themselves might be a little intimidating. Totally get that. If you have a few friends or a group that you're a part of and you want that experience, we would love to talk to you about what that could look like. But, um, you know, or some of those people who maybe just haven't found that right group setting for them yet, this could maybe be that home for them. And so I think uh, anyone who's really just has that, that heart of service, but also um, um, outgoing and willing to take a chance and and because we truly believe that this is an adventure for our members but for them too and so um, it's an amazing experience chatting here with Bo Larson director of marketing and business development as well as James Maloney director of community engagement here with Civitan uh, if anyone wants to get involved volunteer wise how do they go about doing that or if a parent is listening and they're like hey this is a great opportunity for my son or daughter how would they go research something more well, the website's the best place to start. Um, that tells you more of the story and easy application uh, forms are on there, but also gives you contacts to James. <laughs> and then James will, James will kind of uh, hook him from that point. And so that is uh, civitanfoundationaz.org. Yes. And I will spell civitan, C-I-V-I-T-A-N, foundationaz.org. As we continue talking about Civitan and all of its wonderful things up at camp in Williams, Arizona, how great are the interactions? that you guys have experienced yeah. between uh, just the campers themselves kind of interacting amongst themselves as well as the volunteers and the counselors and just the week long of bonding. Well, you know, when you say week long of bonding, um, you're making friends for the rest of your life. 
when you're out there. And I'm not just talking staff to staff, staff to volunteers and so on. You're also making friends with our campers. They're going to remember you and you're, they're creating, suddenly you're, you know, sharing the Christmas cards. You're, <laughs> you may be talking elsewhere, meet them in the, in the street. So that's, that's a special relationship because the majority of people that uh, get up there for the first time and who haven't worked in kind of the special needs arena um, don't understand uh, the power of um, individuals that um, are maybe a little bit different than you, but so profound. It'd be, it's, un, it's unbelievable how, um, how deep of a conversation you're going to have with a person until you've given a, them a shot and, um, and to understand their lives. And, and they, you know, there's nothing but love. You know, there's not a, there's not a hateful bone in the body of any of our campers, and which is just when you when you experience it for the first time, that's the, that's what you walk away with. And is there a lot of uh, this happening where a camper maybe starts at you know ten years old or something, and then they continue coming back year after year after Almost year, forty years in some yeah, cases? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you first mentioned it, that was what I thought of. You know, just some of the amazing experiences our campers and, and staff have had bonding over the years. You know, uh, as Bo mentioned, we might have a kids camp, so that's specific to kids, and, and a member or a camper would come out there and and spend time at the kids camp, and now it's 10, 12 years later, and they're celebrating their twenty fifth birthday at camp. And, and 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 as Bo mentioned, you know, we have members who have gone for forty straight years. They're, they've been part of it since before it was. A camp, right? And so uh, you can see what a profound impact it makes and a special place it is to them, uh, which then I think in turns makes our volunteers want to come back and volunteer again or come back as staff. And um, each year for you to be able to make sure that those next year of campers are having an as amazing experience as they did the year before and that that staff is as strong and providing as much fun and safety for our campers as well. It just is such an awesome experience and it's contagious. Yeah. And it, it's, it's why a lot of uh, people become staff. You know, not only is it the you know the greatest summer job ever because you're not spending money, <laughs> right? You know, and you're and you're making really good money. You got room and board, and you're having fun. You know, you're not going to get that flipping burgers. You know, I, I just, <laughs> no, I not, understand not, that. Not, not, nothing wrong with that. Um, I've eaten too many over the years, so um, it's it, it's it's one of the neat transitions um, that we uh, get to see um, on a yearly basis is our volunteers kind of transitioning into that employment side of things. And they come back. It's the, it, like I said, and it's the perfect college job. You know, so, you know, school's out. I already know what I'm doing. I don't have to start looking. I'm getting on the bus. I'm going to camp. Um, I'm going to have my days off with my friends. We're going to go to Flagstaff, have a great time and come back to camp. And, and um, it, it really is one of those things that for four years, five years, which many of them are, once you become a staffer, you're generally on board for the, the whole <laughs> yeah, run. Absolutely. You know, and um, and you're going to make more money than you really will in any other summer gig. And when you, you talk about all this passion and energy that you guys have and just really making the camp a lot of fun, um, is there a lot of growth and development that you've seen as well in those campers or is just the staff themselves? Everyone. Yeah. Everyone. Yeah, abso- absolutely. Yeah, yeah I, I, I think I was lucky enough that my first interaction ever with Civitan Foundation was uh, volunteering briefly at the camp. And um, I'll just never forget, you know, sitting around one night at a fire pit, seeing this group of campers up taking part in a skit night, right? Like they were on stage, they were performing, they were getting into it uh, and just it clicking that in some situations, these campers may not have felt comfortable getting on stage and being themselves in front of everyone. And so to see uh, how comfortable they had become with each other, with the camp, and that translates when they get back home. Those those skills, those that confidence, that that uh, ability um, just continues to grow in them and they continue to come back and, and challenge themselves or, you know, maybe they've never ridden a horse before, but getting on that horse for the first time and knowing that, you know, something I'm nervous about can actually be something very fun and I become passionate about. Um, you see so much growth within our campers, but, uh, you know, for our, our camp providers as well and our volunteers. So there's a lot of personal growth that comes when you are uh, caring for someone else, when you are being that person that they rely on and making sure uh, that they're where they need to be and that they're having this amazing experience and that they are safe. Uh, these, these campers really grow. And I think whether they're in college, whether they're, you know, taking a break that summer, whatever it is, they go back as stronger individuals, more confident, stronger leaders. And I think the skills that camp provides them as, as employees uh, helps push them for that next uh, level until 
hopefully we're able to get them back the next summer. <laughs> well, and, and, and these jobs are also available all throughout the year. Those, yeah. those 12 other weekend camps, mm -hmm. um, we always need staff and volunteers. And so it's, it's like a year-round employment opportunity for a lot of people that, again, you're up to have fun. You know, you're, <laughs> yes, you're caring for someone. You're mm -hmm. caring for a, a child or a young adult, um, but you're going you're gonna to get on a horse or you're going to get on the Polar Express train, you know, which is just incredible. Or you're going to go fishing or maybe even a trip to the Grand Canyon or something. There's things that they do that you normally don't see. And so whether or not it's getting involved from the aspect of being a camper, whether it's getting involved from the aspect of being a volunteer, there is one website to go to, and that is? CivitanFoundationAZ.org. And as we're chatting here with Bo Larson, Director of Marketing and Biz Business Development, as well as James Maloney, Director of Community Engagement with Civitan. I'm going to give you guys the option for the final word today. You know, uh, hopefully that whatever you heard, something kind of sparked your interest. Um, definitely check out our website, follow our social media. Those, those are a real easy way to kind of see the things that we're doing. Um, that's Camp Civitan um, as, as one, and then Civitan Foundation AZ is the other. Um, but, you know, really, w if you heard something that impacted you, don't be, hesitate to reach out. We have opportunities that so many people can take part in, whether they're day, tr uh, day volunteer experiences um, all the way to, you know, the full summer. Um, or if you heard this and you can think of that perfect person maybe they're not listening but you just know that they are that right person for this experience um send them the direction of the website uh give them that personal uh, outreach and say you know hey i heard about this and, and imme immediately thought of you um because our camp uh, we know it's an amazing experience but it can only be as strong as the staff that we're able to pair our members with and so uh, to give them this amazing experience and for us to continue to grow and have better experiences we need those strong providers so um, we really appreciate the time today yeah th thank you very much and and if there are some uh, organizations that would love to have uh, james come out for example and speak about volunteer opportunities he would love to do it i just there you go <laughs> um, yeah, and so uh, there there are many opportunities for us to go and, and share our stories um, and even come up to williams well be glad to um, you know show them around the camp and, and see what it is because it's 15 acres um, it's it's bunk living you know in the in the dorms uh, they they have big a big mess hall yeah. a place where they do a lot of the skits um, we have uh, beautiful fields out there we have a miniature golf course we have frisbee golf frisbee golf <laughs> now yeah um, soon to get an all-terrain vehicle mm -hmm. out there um, and so a lot of cool things and it's in beautiful Williams, and you can't beat a summer job where you're 30 degrees cooler than in Phoenix. <laughs> Absolutely. Appreciate you guys both being Thank here you. today, bringing some awesome energy. That's James Maloney, Director of Community Engagement, as well as Bo Larson, Director of Marketing and Business Development with Civitan. You've been listening to Valley Focus.